Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain how we can make an electric motor produce electricity. Well, it sounds a little bit difficult, but actually it's very easy, because an electric motor is also a generator. Let me show you how this works. First of all, in the electric motor you've got two components, basically. You've got a coil or armature, a coil of wire, and you have a pair of field magnets. And these magnets produce a magnetic field in this direction. Okay? Now, if I pass electric current through the wire, I get another magnetic field. And I get a reaction between the two magnetic fields, which makes this rotate. Now, I have to do something special to the current to make it rotate, but it rotates. I'm not going to go into how the actual motor works. But what we've got is two magnetic fields making motion, because they react together, like two magnets repelling. So, if I were to say, right, instead of putting current into this coil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the coil. The whole thing stays exactly the same. It's the same field magnets, the same armature, the same everything. The only difference is I don't have a battery to push current through. I need something to make this coil rotate. So I might just physically turn it by hand. Or I might have a another machine to make it turn. It might be a windmill to make it turn. Anything to make this coil turn. As the wire of this coil cuts through the red field lines, which I've shown here, it generates current in the coil. As simple as that. So all I do is I take the motor, I physically turn it by hand, and where the electric wires were bringing the current in when it was a motor, the electric wires can be used to take the current out when it's a generator. So there is, in fact, no difference in construction. All I have to do is rotate it, find a way of rotating this central coil or armature, and then attach it to whatever I want to power using my little generator. So that's how to use an electric motor to produce electricity.